the history of the uh, mouth harp and where does it come from? Mouth harp is an instrument that no one actually knows of its true origin. Um, it's one of the oldest instruments of the world and it most certainly originated in multiple areas of multiple regions of the world and uh, moved around through trade uh, to many other regions of the world. So it's like these here from Vietnam, they're quite different from <coughs> Uh, these from Vietnam are different in shape from the classic uh, mouth harp from Europe, for example, which is in a sort of a, a key or key type shape. I can I can show you some others that later. Um, but because uh, in Southeast Asia, for example, a lot of mouth harps are made from bamboo, uh, it's not. Uh, you know, there are no archaeological finds of bamboo mouth harps from centuries ago. So where is popular now? Now popular in 2023. It's popularizing all over the world. The, in the last uh, decade or couple decades, it's an instrument that's making a huge comeback uh, in, uh, in today's era as a contemporary musical instrument in society. Easy to learn? Very easy to learn. In 30 seconds I can show someone how to play. So the initial step is just basically taking <clears throat> taking this which is a simple sound of buzz vibration putting it in front of the lips and that is the beginning of a sound. Following that you whisper A-E-I-O-U And that's the foundation of playing, yeah. right there. So it works like uh, the principle of human speech, where we use our vocal cord in order to modulate the sounds. Uh, oh, sorry, we use our vocal cord to produce the sound, and we use our tongue and the shape of our mouth to modulate the sound. So I'm doing one pitch, but it's coming out audibly different. So the same way my mouth harp is my new vocal cord. I switch off my vocal cord and this is the, the okay. new one. So in the same way, You're controlling it with your tongue? Tongue. So if I say whatever I, I, I articulate within my mouth and you can hear It's because it's the same, it's produced the same way. It's my tongue that is making that sound yeah. or making the variations so of the sound. So in musical implications, how do you apply it uh, today? Can it be a part of a band? Absolutely. Uh, from 2013 to 2018, I organized the World Mouth Harp Festival of India Where? in Arambol, in Goa. And uh, the, the main element of this festival was to, the vision of the festival actually, was to gather mouth harpists from around India and other countries of the world together to connect, network, co-create and also to uh, essentially elevate and uh, awareness of this instrument as a contemporary Your instrument. Your name is? My name is Neptune, Neptune Chapton. From where? Britain? Oh, I was born in Anjuna. I was born I in see. Goa. Yes. Really? Yes. Which year? In 1984. 84? Yeah. Okay. So, um, my mother's French, my father's American. Okay. And Nick. So, um, the festival hasn't happened in a number of years uh, for organizational yeah. reasons, etc. Yeah. But this festival featured bands from all over the world and India three-day music festival, entirely participant-powered festival, free of charge, okay. no entry. Okay. Uh, no, none of the musicians took any fees Payment, to, yeah, yeah. to perform. participate, to yeah. perform. It was a contribution. Um, and what it, the, 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 the main special point was that every single act on stage had at least one mouth harpist in the music. Really? in order to demonstrate that it can be with integrated integrated with any and so either bands would come uh, natively play the mouth harp within their music yeah. and present or if they didn't have a mouth harpist 
any band was welcome. I see. But then the festival would allocate yeah. a mouth harpist to join their band, even even for one track. And it's amplified. And amplified, yeah, with microphones and yeah. uh, sound system, etc. So that is uh, since the festival stopped running in 2018. Um, I've, for me, I've been uh, selling mouth harps in Goa at the night markets here since uh, 1999, and I've, I've just been helping to popularize, popularize. exactly popularize the the instrument in this country, and that is the work. That how do they I've contact? How does someone interested contact you through a website or Facebook or? Number, um, number? Currently, Instagram is my uh, go-to uh, contact. World Harps. World Harps. Yeah, W O R L D H A R P S. One word. One word. World Harps, and that is my collection of mouth harps from around the world. Really? Where in the seasons, in the winters, I'm based here in Goa, and in the summers, I travel to countries around the world, uh, performing, teaching, and also. Uh, traveling to meet makers of each wow. of the different kinds of mouth harps that there are in the world and watch each maker produce an instrument, wow. record, document and collect, bring back more Amazing. for the collection. Amazing. So I have a, a 20 years I've wow. been collecting mouth harps. Enough for a museum, you can set up oh, yeah, a museum. For yeah. sure, sure. I have, I have thousands of mouth harps <laughs> in stock and this is uh, many things, many aspects of what I do. Um, revolve around this instrument. Amazing. Yeah, I play in a band myself. Uh, Which one? It's called Third Pulse. Uh, okay. Also on Insta, Facebook. Third Pulse. Third Pulse. And Third Pulse is a trio of beatbox, didgeridoo and mouth harp. Wow. We call ourselves the Breath Pulse Trio. Based where? Um, based uh, in Goa. Be well, based in Goa. We started in Goa, and we mostly play in Goa. I see. Um, two of us were born in India, but of foreign origin. Yeah. Uh, one from France. Oopa. Careful, careful, baby. <laughs> one from uh, one from France. Uh, so we meet here in Goa. We play some contact in Goa. number if you'd like to share. Uh, I can share my contact number yeah, with you. Yeah, yes, yeah. and. Um, um, this, what else? Uh, my, I have also a music page for my own mouth heart playing. It's Neptune Chaputin dot music. That's on, on uh, Instagram. Instagram. How Instagram, you spell Chaputin? It's Neptune, like yeah, the planet. Yeah, N e p t u n e. C h a p o t i n. Okay. Chaputin. Chaputin. Dot music. Okay. Yeah, so at Neptune Chaputin music. So that's where I post my videos of my playing, and then it's uh, closely interlinked Amazing with stuff. World Harps, which is all about the collection. And so Goa is a good place for musical creativity. It is, it is, especially in the north. As uh, I mean, depending on what kind of creativity and collaborations yeah. in the north, in Arambol, you have a lot more travelers, people passing through, a lot of uh, yeah. random jams yeah. happening, but a lot of events, a lot of gigs as well. Uh, here uh, in this area, Sangolda area, yeah. there was, uh, you know, Colin Cruz really helped yeah. to popularize yeah. uh, jazz Goa. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. the more sort of formal professional musical scene uh, of musicians, cool. Goan musicians cool. based in Goa. Cool. And so the gigs that happen around Anjuna, uh, Povrim, Sangolda, yeah. Kalangut. This is uh, a little bit of a different vibe. Yeah, it's a different than yeah. the gigs that happen in true, uh, true. you know Mandrem. It's a different audience and a different, different audience yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. You know. Thank you so much. All the best. Sure. It's amazing. Thank you much. Yeah.